Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, we are here today to do another tutorial and today's tutorial is going to be using uh, for the most part the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Holiday Collection with the exception of a few other Urban Decay products and maybe a few Morphe products and Makeup Forever products. I don't really know what to call this look yet. It kind of reminds me of a betta fish, but um, if I put that in the title, nobody's going to click on it, so we're not going to call it that. I didn't do a first impression of this collection just because um, I wasn't filming during the week because I had visitors here, and then I actually wound up using it quite a bit, so I didn't actually have a first impression on video. But that being said, I can just give you guys like my opinion of the palette, so if you like to know how I feel about the palette and the new glitter releases and the lip palette, please stick around to the end. And I'll just kind of give you a quick rundown of like, you know, all the, like, the little things I've noticed about it during the week as I used it. I'm actually super excited with the way that this eyeshadow look panned out and also the lips. So I'm excited to start this tutorial and you should be too. Let's get started. You keep on watching. Okay, so this is a tutorial based on the Herman, Herman, Urban Decay Heavy Metal Holiday Collection, but the eyeshadow palette is all metallics and an all metallic palette does not an eyeshadow look make, okay my friends? So for transitions and blacks and creamy colors and all of that jazz, I'm going to be going into the Morphe 3502 palette, which I've been using lately and really liking. So to start off, I'm going to use the color Orb right here on my Sigma E40 blending brush. For the outer portion of the eye, I want it to be kind of a true red. So to kind of start a true red blend out there, I'm gonna pick up a color from Makeup Forever. This is the Artist Shadow in the color M846. I believe on the Sephora website, this is called Morello Cherry, but usually Makeup Forever just uses numbers and it gets really confusing. I'm gonna pack that on the outer portion of the lid, stopping like kind of before the center, just to kind of put down like a really red, red color that blends out also. For the inner portion of the eye, I'm going to do like a metallic teal shade from the Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette to make that like extra deep and like extra mm, popping rich metallic tealy goodness. I'm gonna put down a base of a similar color eye pencil first. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 pencil in the color Deep End. I'm just gonna blend that out into the red a little bit, just smudging it slightly so it's not a harsh line with a pencil brush. Time to dip into that Heavy Metals palette. This is how it looks on the outside. It's actually really interesting packaging because it slides out from the inside and there's a mirror in the center. I'm going to use the color Amp and I'm going to apply that with a Real Technique shading brush and I'm going to use that wet. I already know that I'm going to use it wet because I've been using this palette on and off for about a week now and uh, like most metallic types of shades, it performs better when it's wet. Love these. I'm also going to pick up a little bit of the shade After Party, which is kind of like a burgundy plum tone. And I'm going to use it on the same Real Technique shade brush that I used earlier and just dampen that up a little bit and pop it right on the center of the lid to blend that metallic into the matte a little bit more. I'm going to fill in the waterline with like a burgundy oxblood tone. This is the Urban Decay 24 7 pencil in the color Alkaline. And to smell that the lower lash line, I'm going to use the same Morello Cherry shade from Makeup Forever. This time I'm going to do it on a Sigma E30 pencil brush. And I'm just going to soften the edges of that with a clean MAC 217 brush. That doesn't make sense. I'm going to use a teal glitter over those two metallic shades. I'm going to use one of the new heavy metal glitter shades in the color Gamma Ray, which is kind of like a bluish teal. And there was some like multicolor glitter in there, but mostly it's teal. And I'm going to put that over that turquoise blue, but I'm also going to bring a little bit of the glitter over onto the red to kind of like bring it all together. All 
All right, I'm just gonna finish up the eyes with some mascara and lashes, even though I already have a little bit of mascara on from earlier today. And even though earlier, because now it has eyeshadow all over it. And we're gonna pop some lashes on and I'll for the lips, I'm going to use a shade from the Metallic Matte Lip Palette that just came out in this collection as well. But first, I'm going to go in with a lip liner because whenever I'm using a cream, like traditional lipstick, I like to put a lip liner down first. I just feel like it makes the lips look more finished and like if I overdraw them, it looks better that way. I don't know. It just looks better. <laughs> So for a liner, I'm going to use the Kat Von D liner in the shade Miss It, which is like a burgundy red kind of a shade. I'm going to use the little brush that comes with the palette to fill them in. Look how cool that is. You pull it down and then it comes up. Usually it's the other way around and the shit gets all jacked up and doesn't work right after a while. This, I don't know why I enjoy that so much, but I do. I'm going to fill that in with a little bit of the shade 714. And if I feel like it's a little bit too bright red, I'm going to mix a little bit of the shade CSB on the corners. I actually really like this lip palette. I like it a lot more than I thought I was going to. I'm starting to realize that I really like traditional lipsticks when they're in a palette form for some reason because I also really love the Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick palette. So to top off this lip, I kind of want to bring in these teal shades, but I don't want to completely overpower the lip. So I'm going to use the Urban Decay Vice Special Effects Top Coat. This is the shade White Lie, which is kind of clear with a little bit of a teal shift. And I'm going to apply that only to the center areas of the lips. And that's the finished look. So as far as my thoughts on the collection overall, um, I am super stoked that they expanded the color line for the heavy metal glitters. The heavy metal glitters are already one of my favorite glitters on the market in general. Uh, so I'm not only super pumped that I have all of the original shades now, but I'm really, really excited to have all of the new shades they released for holiday. The lip palette is surprisingly really, really blowing my skirt up right now. It doesn't have a ton of color choices, but as far as like things that most people wear all the time, it definitely has all of the staples. So I think it's good in that respect. Um, I wasn't really expecting to like it that much because I don't normally find myself wearing a ton of like cream lipsticks. But it's really good. If you're looking for a palette of lipstick that has a lot of wearable shades, this is awesome. I definitely recommend. As far as the heavy metal palette itself, personally, I don't usually reach for palettes that are 100% metallic or 100% glitter because they're not something that I would generally use a lot just because I need other things to continue the look. That being said, though, considering that this is for holiday, it makes perfect sense to me. Um, I don't know that I would have gone out and purchased this on my own if I hadn't been sent it, but now that I have it, I'm really happy that I do, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know that it would have caught my eye, but now that I have it, those metallics are like mind-blowingly metallic, very pigmented, very little fallout. The shade range is broad enough that um, I'll use it, but it's nothing crazy that there are shades where I'm like, I'm never using that. So um, yeah, I really like it. Um, if you're somebody who likes to have a palette that's like all metallics and not something that is going to be a complete look in and of itself, you're definitely going to like it as far as color choice and formula is concerned. I'm not sure if I'm crazy about the packaging just because it's a little bit bulky, uh, but it's really cool packaging like it's definitely very unique and I like the big fat mirror in the middle Except that I wish there was a way that the mirror could stand up because being part of the palette Like it's just gonna be flat on your desk. So if you're getting ready somewhere that's not your vanity This is not gonna be super helpful for you uh, But yeah, those are very minor complaints in general, I think this collection for holiday is gorgeous. Um, I'm really 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 excited about the new shades of the heavy metal glitter and um, I'm really glad that they sent this to me because I don't think I would have tried it and I actually wound up really liking it a lot. So that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and the little kind of mini review. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because that really helps me out in the grand scheme of things and I very much appreciate it. Also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because uh, we have a lot of fun here and I would love for you to stick around. 
Don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm at Ms. Quinface on Instagram, um, also on Twitter and uh, Snapchat too, even though I don't really use it that much anymore because I'm more on Instagram stories more often. Yeah. But yeah, follow me in all those places. I'll list that here on the screen. I'll list it down in the description bar. Um, come say hi because I would love to have you around. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this little fall-ish tutorial. It's a little something different from the Halloween steez we've had going on for the last couple of weeks. And I will see you in the next one.